so you guys have seen my homemade high top and today I'm gonna go weigh it to see how much it weighs I weighed it once before uh, I did all the high top work while well, when it had the original roof and now I'm off to the dump to dump some stuff and weigh it again uh, before the vans converted how I make a little extra money sometimes is doing runs to the dump and I can also weigh my vehicle when I'm at a dump so it's a great way to make a little extra money fill up the tank and keep an eye on how much my vehicle's weighing with the additions I'm making go ahead and comment right down below how much you think it's gonna weigh i have i have my guess but let's see what your guess is so this is my first time doing any actual uh, decent speed driving in this van and it's feeling pretty good uh, i'm going 60 miles per hour and honestly even though like in utah speed limits are 80 i think i'm gonna stick to like the 65 mile per hour club you get better gas mileage it's safer um, but yeah, I got a pretty heavy load today, but I'll probably have about this much weight or a little bit more when I have the whole camper built out. Uh, I just hit my brakes pretty hard for this red light. Felt pretty solid, felt good, no wiggles. Uh, it's not a windy day though, so I'll have to be careful on a windy day. If you've ever driven tall vehicles on windy days, it's not fun. Hands are at 10 and 2, focus on the road and nothing else. But yeah, uh, I'm feeling, feeling optimistic about this build so far. Okay, I'm about to go up on the weigh scale. Uh, I weighed it last time with nothing in the back, with myself sitting in here. Uh, so I'll, I can minus like 15 pounds of the plastic totes, but not much. But yeah, we'll see how much it weighs. I'm nervous, I really want it to be light, <laughs> but we'll see. 5,700 pounds, 5,720. Nope, 5,700 pounds. Okay, so the van with the high top weighed 5,700 pounds with me inside of it. Um, last time I went without the high top, um, it weighed 5,380 with me in it as well. So that means the high top added 320 pounds of weight. Which, I mean, it's a fair amount, but the gross vehicle weight for this vehicle is 8,700 pounds. So if I really wanted to, I could still add 3,000 pounds of weight, which of course I won't be adding. Another thing to consider is I pulled out all the seats. I still got one because there's four rows of bin seats and they're extremely heavy. They were like solid metal. So those probably weighed 75, 75, that probably weighed about 350 pounds is just the seats. So after removing the seats and putting the high top on, I'm about net zero for weight change, a little bit of weight gain. Obviously, I've raised the center of gravity, making it more susceptible for things to roll over as well as wind. But weight wise, for like the suspension and stuff, I really haven't added any weight yet because I removed the seats. But I will be adding more weight when I do the build. I estimate about another 200 to 250 pounds for the build out and then another 150 pounds for my gear so that comes out to 400 pounds so the grand total will be around 6,100 pounds with me inside of it I weigh about 220 right now but I'll just do the math with me in it because I'll always be driving it so 6,100 pounds um, with the gross vehicle weight of 8,800 I probably won't be doing any towing with this vehicle it wouldn't be a good idea so I'm pretty happy with the weight of the high top. Um, for sure, I'll definitely always keep the vehicle under 6,500 pounds. That's still 2,200 pounds under the gross vehicle weight. So I'm pretty happy with so it. So for the cost of this build, it wasn't necessarily the most expensive, but it wasn't super cheap too. Um, if you get a new fiberglass high top, that's probably gonna cost 2,000, 2,500, plus installation, maybe $3,000. Uh, cheapest way to get a high top on your van is normally to go to the junkyard, find one, cut it off, plop it on yours, secure it down. That runs normally a couple hundred dollars. Uh, the most expensive thing in this build was definitely the plexiglass, but I made sure to keep track of all the money because I thought you guys might be interested. So I got a list right here, and I just added it all up, and the grand total came out to $542. Um, I'll include the list in the video. It's mostly plexiglass. It's three hundred dollars for that big thing. Plywood, thirty-two bucks. Or another thing, a plywood, eighteen bucks. Paint. Uh, I've got about four layers of paint on the side, five layers on top. That was sixty bucks because it's some high-quality waterproofing paint. I used a whole lot of caulking to get make sure everything's waterproof. Everything's internally and externally sealed for water. 
um, insulation, expanding foam insulation, bolts, a bunch of two by threes, bunch of two by twos, bunch of wood. But yeah, um, obviously it's not completely done yet. I still gotta build the interior, and I'll use some of the structure for the interior too. So some of those costs can be negated because I'll be using it for both the roof and the interior. But yeah, it's my that's my high top. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Obviously, if I roll this thing over, you guys will know. I will have pictures of it rolled over and destroyed. Uh, but I will be driving extremely carefully and an accident. My biggest fear is a blown out tire um, that can cause loss of control and a rollover. And on top of that, my biggest fear is ever hurting anyone. Um, I don't want to hurt anyone with anything I build. If it's just myself and I hurt myself, not a big deal. I mean, it would be a big deal, but I don't care as much. If I ever injure someone else with this big contraption, it, it would be horrible. So I'll keep you guys updated, let you guys know how it goes, see how the Plexi does. Hopefully a hailstorm doesn't crack it or damage it. Um, but yeah, stick around and I'll keep you guys updated.